I said welcome back. So I'm still busy designing some stuff, but my tools and weapons are getting quite broken. So I just built a path here. I'll add torches to make sure this the snow doesn't happen like that again. And up there, that's kind of what I want to do for the wall. Make sure stripped and then non-stripped blocks. So yeah. But today's episode isn't going to be on building in that. Between the episodes I did find the little like I mean I did mine down to find a you know cave. If I just put down here. Yeah so I found this cave and then when I was exploring it I found this zombie spawner but I want to get a little bit more prepared so I'm gonna start digging down there so yeah I'm gonna grab some pickaxe and hope you guys enjoy watching me mine for a long time <laughs> for pickaxe and um, <laughs> an enchantment table I think it's time we put those to use so we have this village over here if I don't fall in snow just get rid of that um, yeah right over here so I'm gonna make some bookshelves and do a little bit of gathering and see if we can get a mending, unbreaking, and fortune villager just for now then, I'll, then we can carry on mining for diamonds so let's go in that we have the books so efficiency mending fortune and a breaking so I think with this nice new pickaxe we should go mining and we got a lot of villages over there to deal with at some point so yeah I'm gonna mine for a while and see how many diamonds I get yeah let's go So after a bit of mining I got quite a few diamonds but it's like mining and I mine up every now and then like in between and swinging wise they're like some light so I mined a bit further and one of them had like block of cobble deep slates on it is it now yeah I'm like that's weird so I climbed up and Ancient city. That's a mine shaft entangled with the ancient city. This big thing with the hardest boss in the king can spawn over and over if we're not careful. One shots us in full netherite armor. Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm out. Just like so yeah, 
I'm gonna head back and let's craft some armor and then get enchanting. So now that we're up, let's just get crafting. That, 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 a pickaxe, shovel, second pickaxe should I say, an axe, a sword, and I don't think there's anything else right, no, except for the hoe, but no, I guess we could use it for, like, just now and before we enchant it and like, get enchanting levels from something else. But when I was mining here, I found this spawner. Then over here, I heard another one. So I made a schematic. So I think it's time for me to get mining and building. So let's go. It's a little bit of like showing around. I realized I was too far from that spawner, so I moved from there. <sighs> yeah, that's a good way to get rid of the baby zombies. So I have to fix that a bit. Oh, I'm, man, I missed, I messed that up. Uh, let me fix that. Okay, now that it's fixed, they go up. The fence pushes them up a little bit, and they put on the mag on the soil sand and that will pull them that way then it sends them up on a very long route just to go down here and unfortunately there's still a few like adjustments just need to light up areas around here just like go through make sure there's no funny places like that, where they can come and kill me. But it's all nice in that having a, a farm that works. But what's the point if it looks this? Bleh. So I think I'm going to spend some more time. They're created, put a nice tunnel, even add an enchanting setup here. So I'll see you guys when it's all done. So, after a little bit of time guys, finally got this tunnel done and made it look all nice with tinted glass. So there's the one spawner, you can see them coming down every now and then. They end up there and yeah, yeah. then they go here and there. Then I did go grab a villager so I could trade rotten flesh for emeralds because I'm not done with the bookshelves yet so I'm gonna do a little bit more grinding just to cheer up killing zombies getting rotten flesh and even trading sticks for emeralds and then once that's done I'll start enchanting so yeah let's
after a little bit of time that we finally have decent armor protection for on everything some thorns and I'm breaking on some of them and my sword crafted two so I could get extra stuff so I've got sharpness 5, looting 3, sweeping edge 3, fire spade to mending then that's the pickaxe we made in the at the beginning of this episode then we got an axe which I added mending from the villagers then got a diamond hoe very good silk touch pickaxe and a silk touch shovel so I think that's going to do it and I managed to get a map of the old before we built the house so that so just seeing the surroundings and how everything looks so next episode that little bit is the walls up there so I want to build that wall going around right here around like there then that little river will make it look nicer there make like go down river biggish lake splits off underground to another little lake that goes this way and like goes around this village some splits off there some splits off to another low area so um then down here let me just get down to the mob spawner so now that we're down here you can see i just fixed this made it a bit more center everything so if you turn here and go and draw so I've got mob spawners got the zombie killing so three so there's four angle is good for him <laughs> then got an enchanting table max level and i did get a villager down here that trades rotten flesh so i would like to actually zombify him in upcoming episode in there but i think that's it for today's episode we got brand new armor so thank you guys for watching as we see zombies going in there i hope you guys enjoyed this episode was a lot more mining and grinding in between episodes i'll just get some more xp and that and look mending it and breaking on my armor to make sure it doesn't break but yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye bye now